Hi everybody, it's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching today's video. Today's video is called How to Stop Cat Biting. In today's video, we're going to go over several reasons why cats bite. We're going to go over some steps that you can take to stop your cat from biting. I'm also going to be giving you a recommendation for an inexpensive and effective cat training program if you need some extra help with your cat. I'm also going to have have a little free gift for you if I forget to tell you about that at the end of the video just look in the description box below you'll see a link for it and also it in case I forget to mention it in the video, I did do a video fairly recently on how to stop kittens from biting. And some of the reasons why and the solutions are the same for kittens and cats. But for kittens, there are some more specific reasons why they might be biting and you're going to handle a kitten a little differently in some cases. So if you have a kitten who is biting, I recommend that you watch both the videos and definitely watch the kitten video after this one for the more specific kitten information. Okay, so I'm going to give you a link to that other video. All right. Now, if you have not been here before, uh, my name is Deborah. I own a website called PeopleLovingAnimals.com, and several times a month I do videos all about the care and health and training of dogs and cats. So if you have a pet that you would like to receive continuous help with, please go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. And please go ahead and share this channel with your friends and family who have a dog or a cat because they might enjoy this sort of information as well. As always, if the video is helpful, please give it a like. It really does help YouTubers when you do that. So we are going to use this article on my website called How to Train Your Cat to Stop Biting. I'm laughing. I know it's not funny, but... <laughs> It's so frustrating, you know, it's it's especially frustrating when not only are they biting, but they're like attacking, you know, so I'm sorry to laugh about it, especially if you're getting hurt, uh, but don't worry, we're going to cover some of this stuff in today's video. I'm going to give you a link to this article in the description box, and I'm also going to give you a link to other things that we talk about, okay? Now, first of all, some cats bite and some cats don't. Um, also, dif uh, different cats bite for different reasons. In order to figure out how to train your cat to stop biting, you must first discover the reasons why they're doing it. That's pretty much true across the board in any pet behavior issue is to get to the bottom of why they are doing it. And that's always the best, easiest, fastest way to solve it. So why do cats bite? Here are some common reasons. Sometimes cats bite in order to assert dominance. Sometimes they are being a jerk. Um, your cat might be biting because he's trying to show who's in charge. If your cat bites you and then he doesn't back down or he doesn't try to play and cuddle, he might be doing it to show dominance. Okay. Cats will also bite as a way of communicating. If they want something, for example, instead of meowing, they might nip your toe or your finger or your arm to signal you. They might be asking for food to be let outside if they're an outside cat or even for you to clean the litter box. Uh, or to get attention as well. A good way to know if your cat is biting as a form of communication is to watch and see when he bites you, is he also trying to lead you somewhere? Like, is he biting you and then he's trying to get you to go out to the kitchen where the food dish is? Or is he biting you and then he's trying to get you to go um, toward the litter box? Like, that's a good way of determining. He's like, oh, he bit me. What does he want? Because chances are, if they're trying to communicate, they're going to try to show you um, what they want. I had a cat... Um, for 20 years, if you've been here before for my cat videos, you've heard me talk about her. And um, she would meow at night. Uh, she, she wasn't biting, but it just reminds me. At night, when it was our bedtime, she would meow, 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 meow. And then she would go down the hall. And she'd come back, meow, meow, meow. And then she'd go down the hall. See, so it's a, it's a similar thing. She's trying to get me to go to bed. So she wasn't just standing there meowing. She was meowing and then trying to lead me to the bedroom. So it's the same thing with biting. If they bite and then they're trying to get you to go somewhere or do something, they might be trying to communicate with the biting, okay? Um, 
Now, again, we're going to talk about some reasons on how you can stop this. Kittens will bite to practice attacking. Uh, in the wild, animals have to fight. So this tendency comes through in domestic cats as well. I had a kitten named Miss Abigail who would attack her older sister. Her older sister was the one I just told you about that would make me go to bed on time. Abigail would attack that other cat like over and over again, and I felt so bad. And I asked the vet about it, and the vet said that it, in several months that attacking behavior would stop. And luckily for Miss Abigail, that older cat never got nasty. Like she never, you know, bit Abigail or anything. She just kind of put up with it. So if you if it's a kitten, you know, if they're just attacking and they're a kitten, eventually that will let up. Okay. But again, there are ways to stop it in the meantime. An unneutered male will tend to be more aggressive. Um, I have a link here in this article for inexpensive and free spay and neuter programs. So if you have a male or a female that needs to be spayed or neutered and you can't afford it, go ahead and click on that article. In, uh, that Yes, that article within this article. See this blue, consider neutering your male cat. That'll take you to my article. There's also a video here on my YouTube channel about free and low-cost neutering and spaying that you can watch. Now, if a male cat in particular is un, un, unneutered, he will tend to be more aggressive because they're in the whole mating game, they're in the whole territorial game, and most times if you have a male cat neutered, biting and aggression and spraying and urinating in the house, most of their behavior issues usually do stop if you have the cat neutered. Okay, so if you have an unneutered male, that might be one of the reasons why he's biting. Cats who have been declawed may start biting because once their claws are gone, they may feel vulnerable and they're going to start biting just out of fear. Um, the, and also the cat obviously might be biting to defend themselves. If they feel like they're being attacked or picked on or provoked, they might bite again out of fear because they're trying to protect themselves. Okay, so that's just some of the, some of the common um, reasons why your cat might be biting. Okay, now here's some tips for solving cat biting behavior. First, if your cat is biting you, first try to ignore them. If they're biting to get a response from you and you don't respond, they'll try something else. Okay, like if your cat's trying out biting, like its food dish is empty, so it comes to you and it starts biting you because it wants the food. If you ignore the biting and he doesn't get what he wants, he'll try something else, which he'll probably try meowing or he'll try, you know, try other things. So the first way to stop it is to try to just ignore it and not react when they do it and hopefully they will just decide on their own to try something else which most likely is going to be meowing okay you could try a different form of communication only do what your cat is asking if he's asking nicely like if he's rubbing on your leg or if, if he's meowing all right don't give him what he wants in response to the biting Okay, because that's only going to encourage the biting. He's going to see the biting is how to get what he wants. So just try it differently. You know, if your cat is meowing or rubbing on your leg, doing something nice, then give him what he wants. Don't ever give the cat what they want because they're biting you to get it. Do you understand? Also, consistency is important. This is a mistake that a lot of pet owners make, not only with cats, but uh, specifically with puppies. It can seem cute and funny when they're little. You know, although kittens, you know, their little teeth are very sharp, even when they're very small kittens. But, you know, sometimes when they're little, they're like, oh, trying to be ferocious, and it's cute, and they're, they're biting and stuff. But you can't allow it. It's it's all or nothing when it comes to biting. Um, you have to be consistent in that don't just let the kitten bite your finger sometimes and then some, sometimes you don't let them bite. And also keep in mind that a kitten who has been taken away from its litter mates too early, they haven't learned how to not bite too hard because they learn that from playing with their siblings. So if they've been taken away too young, they're not going to know that this biting is too hard. Do you understand? But you just have to be consistent. When it comes to biting, you can't let them bite sometimes and then disapprove of it at other times. You have to set the, the rules and you have to have 
the cat have the same reaction repetitively, okay? Otherwise, animals just get confused. You've got to be consistent. Um, I'll, also, I did mention a free gift. In the description box, I'm going to give you a link to sign up for my cat lover's email list. If you sign up for that about once a week or so, you will get an email from peoplelovinganimals.com, and it will contain either a blog post or an article or a video all about cats. And I think that you'll find that helpful. If you don't, you can always unsubscribe at any time. And as a free gift for subscribing, I will send you a little um, ebook on stopping bad cats behavior. I think that you'll find it cute and also useful. And I'm happy to give it to you. And I'm happy to have you on the email list as well. Now, if you need more help with cat training, again, if you have a kitten, I want you to go ahead and click the link to watch that Stop Kittens Biting video. But if you feel like you need more help with your cat's behavior, I can recommend the Complete Cat Training Guide. It is an ebook that is... Um, created by the folks at kingdomofpets.com. It covers 25 of the most common cat behavioral issues. It's very effective, very thorough, and I like the fact that it is a downloadable ebook because once you have it, you have it, and you'll always have it. So if you have behavioral issues with your cat further down the road a couple of years from now, like for example, if you only have one cat now and three years from now you get another cat and they don't like each other and they're fighting, you're going to have this resource to to always look to, to to get some help with whatever behavior is going on at the time. This uh, ebook is $37 and it comes with a 100% money back guarantee. So I think it's worth the 37 bucks all day long, especially if you have a kitten because you might have more than one behavioral issue going on if you have a kitten. So I'm going to give you the link to go ahead and check that out if you would like to. Now a couple more things before we go. Here's a couple little kitties here. Aren't they sweet? They're so beautiful. A couple things before we go. If you have not been here before, um, you, you don't know that I donate to animal charities. I do peoplelovinganimals.com as my job. And I donate 10% of all of the commissions that I earn on the website and also on this YouTube channel to animal charities. And if you go to the homepage of my website, peoplelovinganimals.com, you will see a, li um, a list of the animal charities that I donate to. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that these were some useful tips for you. Go ahead and um, give a comment. I would like to know what you think about today's video. And also, if you have success with some of these tips, please come back and share it in the comment section to encourage other people who are watching uh, the video in the future. Also, if you discover a tip that's not in this video but has worked for you, again, please come back to the video and comment below to help other people that are watching this video in the future. If this video was helpful, please go ahead and give it a like. Please go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. And please go ahead and share the channel with your friends and family who have a cat or a dog. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that it was helpful. My name is Deborah, and my website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.